you can make use of this anytime any day honestly speaking this pentatonic um, leak is sweet I got this leak from this Brazilian basis okay his name is um, Junior Braguin ha. okay so you can check him out he's on YouTube he's on Instagram and you can go check his profile this guy is tough when I mean tough this guy is good so I got this I said let me break it down for you okay i'm going to show you everything he did is just um a normal minor pentatonic everything he did there the leak was gotten out from the minor pentatonic i'm going to break it down for you okay it's something you can take and start adding to your playing okay you can you can even break you can break this um, um the leak into segments like you can break them and you make use of them okay so just color your plane color your group okay so get your base let's get started so the first thing you need to know is like when i watched him i was like okay how did he go about the whole stuff you know first thing i picked out is the key he was doing that on that's the first thing i brought out i picked out the key then I also try to see which scale he brought that stuff from okay and I got to find out that oh this thing is being gotten from the minor pentatonic that is only what he made use of okay okay so that's where he got that minor pentatonic um, leap from okay the first move the da -da -di, da -da -da -di. don't forget the key we are also is on C okay that's the key so my C minor pentatonic is a five note scale your root flat third four five flat seven then one that's it so the tonics of a notation will be do more fa so do, do. so say it that way okay so so the first movement he did was to start on the five one two flat three first move five one two flat three then you go one two hammer on on the two then you go flat seven one then you resolve on the five that's the first move again that's how you go and that's the sound that will come out so five one two flat three one two flat seven one five then the next move the second move is four five seven flat seven five four flat three this is your one one flat three the second move from your three you go hear this slurry okay so it's 
started from four, five, flat seven, five, slow to the four, then you end on um, flat three. Yes, that's the second move. Now the third move, he did this. Flat three to four, hammer on the four. Flat three, hammer on the four. Four, five, four and five, hammer on the five. Then you go flat three, four, flat seven, one. Then you repeat the riff again or the phrase again. Then you go four, five, flat seven, five, slot to the four, four, flat three, one. This is my key. Flat seven, five, flat three, walk. Very, very easy to get okay if you can work on this if you can work on this honestly you will be amazed how you will be sounding okay how your pentatonic moves will sound like okay this is a good um lead or riff or phrase to you know to start working on now if you can work on this properly and get used to the, the way it sound you know, you're trying to do the vibrant, the hammer on thing and the um, slurry. You know, if you can work on those things, honestly, you will be amazed how you will be sounding on your bass guitar. Okay, you will be amazed the tone you will be bringing out. These things, the, the, the color you're playing. Now you've known how to play the leads or the phrase or the movement down to your C minor here. Now you've gotten this. Okay, so now it's time for you. You should also look at breaking it in segment. Okay, not every time you just okay. So sometimes you might not be on the same timing or tempo or beats, you know, things like that. It's good for you to always look out for other ways you can make use of such thing, you know, such um, league and everything. And my advice for you is start practicing them in segments, you know, start grouping them. Let's say you take the first step, you can do the first step this way. Yeah, you're used to this. If you've gotten this, okay, you can pick another move again. Everything I'm doing is within, is inside the C minor pentatonic. That's the notes. I'm not going outside the box. Okay, so I'm doing the next one is okay. Now I'm just trying to play around those notes from the C minor pentatonic. That's it. Okay, so you you hear a groove, you can be jamming a groove like this, you can be playing something.
just like that. You just keep going. You're just playing around with those notes from the C minor pentatonic scale. That's what I, I was doing there. As simple as adding one or two things together, you know, putting two notes together to give you a particular sound, it goes a long way when it comes to music. Okay? So that is it. Hope this is helpful. Hope you enjoy this. Kudos to this wonderful bass player, Junior Rangweha. Okay, you can go check him out. He's awesome, honestly speaking. All right, guys, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button looking at you okay you can afford to miss new videos i upload every week okay and hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified okay and um, if you need private lessons from me every information is right here on the screen or in the description below okay chat me by whatsapp send me an email you know on how to go about the zoom live section class okay um I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.